Most people have heard of post-traumatic stress disorder, but not many can say they really understand the scope of the problem. The Shrapnel Project, a photography series created by a UW-Eau Claire student and veteran, works to start a conversation about the impact of war and PTSD. Philip Schladweiler, the creator of the Shrapnel Project, photographs and enlarges bits of shrapnel that were removed from injuries sustained during war. Schladweiler says his main hope for these photographs is that they create opportunity for discussion between veterans and civilians. So I'm hoping with this project that you actually have people willing to talk about it and forget all the, the red tape about politics and religion and everything else that gets in the way of um, talking about the actual experience um, and how to move forward from that. Schladweiler accepts anonymous shrapnel donations from veterans to use for his photographs, as well as pieces removed from his own body. Schladweiler was injured in Iraq in 2006. The idea came just at examining how these pieces of metal, these little tiny pieces of metal, you know, affected me. Um, and obviously it did affect me quite a bit. It took me out of the fight and everything. Included in the set is a blank canvas. Schladweiler says this is supposed to represent the effect PTSD has on veterans. That, uh, that actual piece came to, um, I guess the fruition would be the right word for it, uh, because of one of my battle buddies had committed suicide just out of the, out of the blue, just out of nowhere. So you know, it was when I was working on that project, I'm like, you know, this is it's huge. It's a huge problem for veterans is PTSD. An estimated one in five veterans suffer from PTSD, and there are 309 veterans currently enrolled at UW-Eau Claire. Schladweiler is working towards a double major in psychology and art with an emphasis in photography. When he graduates, Schladweiler says he hopes to help other veterans suffering from PTSD through art therapy. The Shrapnel Project can be viewed online at www.theshrapnelproject.net. Reporting for Blue Gold News Now, I'm Lauren French.